Hello, today we're going to make these two cards. The pattern is in Cricut Design Space with Art Philosophy Cartridge. Hi, this is Amanda with Crafting with Amanda. Small business or artists need your help. You can help by subscribing to their channel, liking their videos, or leaving a comment. These actions help their videos reach more viewers. You can practice doing that right now. Thank you. All right, so this is the August 2020 stamp of the month. I just love it. So um, it's been a while since I've done a project for my monthly club. Uh, we moved from Michigan a year ago this month actually, and they kept going and doing things last fall, but with um, everything going on in this crazy world, nobody's gotten together to be able to do things. So we decided the heck with it, we're gonna start doing some virtual clubs. And I designed this card and cut out the pieces and mailed them to my club gals. Um, you can join the Crop and Craft by becoming a member of my VIP Facebook group. It's Crafting with Amanda VIP Facebook, um, or VIP group, I should say. Oh, and on that, I re-stamped I Love the Misty because it didn't stamp the yellow flower up in the corner fully, so I was able to re-ink and just stamp it again because it kept it right in the in the correct spot. Now I'm just adding some leaves. I did multiple um, bases of the random stamping since I had already had the stamps in the set. I went ahead and and did multiple bases. So now I'm just adding the leaves. And I'm not too concerned about where the placement is because I know there's going to be a lot of cutout images going on top of everything. So I'm just trying to give some interest in the background. That's all I'm doing. And time to, oh, okay, I see what I'm doing. I am placing the stamps back on the Misty because I was doing a color challenge and also a scrap lift challenge and the scrapbook layout that I was um, scrap lifting, the background was all tone on tone. So I wanted to place my background stamps and do a couple tone on tone cards. So that's what I was doing, was lining up the previous images on one of my stamp bases to get them lined up all the same. And I love acrylic stamps because they are malleable. So you can see I'm playing around with shaping the, the leaf to give it a little more interest. And I stamp it two times, maybe three, and then it's popped right back into place. So. Um, Normally it works really well on a block, um, but I think with the friction of the dry paper, it just didn't it didn't want to hold its its unnatural curve. So this is my tone on tone that I'm doing with pink, and you can see again the big flower didn't stamp the first time, so I'm just re-stamping it again to get a better crisper image. You get a sneak peek at what the front of the card's going to look like there on the left because those are the pieces cut for it. I used an old stamp set um, with the You Bring So Much Happiness Into My Life and I don't have the name of that in front of me, I apologize, but it's definitely an older set. And now I'm using the almond ink and a brush to just kind of give a little more depth to the cardstock and the edges and it's amazing to me how this little step really enriches the depth and the, the richness of the card um, especially on these flowers they it doesn't look like I'm adding much but oh here's a close-up to show you the one on the left is plain and the one on the right has the ink added to it and it doesn't take long to do I love these brushes it's something that you can just get on Amazon. There's um, several choices out there. For me and my hands, I have arthritis and have for over 20 years, although I'm still very young. <laughs> um, it's, it's a lot easier on my hands. I really like them. So I decided the yellow flowers needed some more interest, so I just grabbed a polka dot background stamp. It wasn't even a background stamp, but just something to give it some details on it. So now I'm using the back of the Versa mat 
to do what I call dry embossing shaping of cardstock. It, I don't know if you can see it on the image, but I had put one of the non-shaped yellow flowers down next to it. But you can see here as I'm doing them that it just really kind of curves up the edges. I particularly like for flowers to put the, the front side down, bring the petals curved up, turn it back over, and then press the center down to kind of make them look like poofy flowers. You can make them look like cups for like peonies. That's the way I would do that is just from the front side, go ahead and cup everything. And I didn't put glue all the way around the circle edges, just kind of in a couple spots because I knew I'd want to tuck some of the shapes in and around. And before I forget, this Cricut, um, all these Cricut shapes are from the Art Philosophy image set by Close to My Heart or just general Cricut Design Space shapes. So if you want to cut your own cards out, I will put the link to the design on my blog. So that's craftingwithamanda.com. And um, as long as you have the Art Philosophy Cricut image set already by Close to My Heart, which came out years and years ago, um, all of the shapes are from that. And if you want to purchase it, uh, you, there is an affiliate link on my blog as well for Cricut, and it will take you to all of the images that Close to My Heart has. So these are the cards. I really like the right one better than the left, I think because I got to play with the flower placement. Hope you have a great day.